Bootser was one of the reformers. The, one of the things I loved about Bootser was he ends up going to Cambridge. He's such a star on the continent. He gets invited over to Cambridge. And this is the time of young Edward VI, who's the godly young king. And he's in between Henry and Queen Mary. And uh, it, under that, uh, under him rather in his reign, the Reformation just flourished. So Bootser is invited over to, to Cambridge. The other thing that's interesting about Bootser is his wife had married four times. He was the, she was widowed three times. He was the fourth husband to we Brandis. So sometimes she's called the wife of the, Ref the bride of the Reformation. But Bootser was just a brilliant scholar. But what happened to him is once he got to Cambridge, uh, the, the water, something, didn't, just, didn't agree with him at all. And he picked up parasites, killed him after he was there a few years. So he didn't live as long as some of the reformers, didn't leave as, uh, behind as much of a corpus as the reformers, but a very significant reformer who was both on the continent and at Cambridge. And just to add quickly, I think we have a few more seconds. It was his preaching at Cambridge that probably was the most impactful. And if you ever get to go to Cambridge, you know, it was always the King's College Chapel, right? It's towering. It's where they do the Christmas Eve service. Everybody knows it. The church you need to go to is the Church of St. Edward the Confessor. It's so small. It's tucked away. It's not even surrounded by a street. It's little walkways to get to it. That was the center of the Reformation. Thomas Bilney preached there. Ridley preached there. And Bootser preached there. And it was, the, it was his preaching that had a huge effect on these Cambridge students who then went out and took the Reformation with them.